Well, hey there, everybody. We are going to take a look at another ration from Packet Gourmet. It's actually been a little while since I've done anything with Packet Gourmet, and I figured, well, now's the time. So this is their Diner Deluxe Eggs with Sausage. This is a cook and skillet meal, so this isn't, you know, just a add boiling water to the bag, which was a mistake I made with the, uh, the old Bandito Scramble. Uh, so we are going to add cool water to this and then uh, cook it up in a pan. So obviously on trail, I mean, if you carry a pan with you, cool. I think that these sort of things lend themselves a bit more to, you know, the car camping scene than they do the backpacking scene. But I mean, at any rate, I, th I think it'll be kind of nice and, and we'll just have to see how it tastes. So season eggs with pork sausage, mushrooms, spinach, tomatoes, onions, green peppers, and cheese, which sound excellent. 460 calories. Here's the other nutritional facts if you're interested. Look at that cholesterol though. Oh no. <laughs> oh goodness. Here are our cooking instructions. And here is the ingredients list. Uh, crystallized whole eggs, which I actually have a package of those that we'll have to just take a look at sometime. And it's kind of neat. They do include the olive oil. It's actually right up here, uh, olive oil packet to, uh, to cook it in. So let's go ahead and open this up. We'll get it, uh, get it kind of rehydrating, I guess, so to speak. Now, okay, there's, there's our olive oil, a good old, uh, Marconi brand, which seems to be pretty prevalent in all of this. I think it also mentioned a desiccant, didn't it? Yeah, it said desiccant, so that, ah, there it is. Sometimes these darn things just get, uh, get towards the bottom of everything. Now, it does call for a three quarters of a cup. I'm going to eyeball that because that's what I do. I know some of you get annoyed at that, but Meh. <laughs> Why do you get so annoyed with my measurements, guys? Now, I get it. I mean, sometimes you, you do want to get the exact. But uh, I've never been a very exact person, at least when it comes to cooking. I do a lot of things on feel. That's how I was taught. And that's how I made a career out of it for some years. Okay. Uh, we're going to add just a little bit more. It has the consistency right now of grits. And I think this should be where we're needing to be. Yeah, that should be good. So it's uh, got some clumpage, clumpage on my spoon there. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's basically, it's, it's still runny, but not overly soupy. So this should be really good. A lot of chunks in there. There's a lot of good chunks of stuff. So I, I'm hoping, I've got high hopes for this one. I think this one's going to be good. Um, they do recommend to let this sit for five minutes. So we will let that set for five minutes and get out a pan and uh, cook it up and I'll show you. I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it is. I mean, could this dethrone Mountain House or something? I don't know. It's crazy. Let's check it out. All right, folks. We've got our eggs. Oh, these look so much better than that poor Bandito scramble. I mean, it legitimately looks like just a nice plate of regular eggs with a lot of stuff in them. I'm, I'm excited to try this. And they... God, it was just it was just such a perfect cook too because they were instantly ready to roll. This took no time to cook this. Hmm. Okay. It's uh, it's a very simple simple taste. Not a ton of salt. You get the peppers, the onions. Definitely get a lot of sausage, a lot of sausage flavor in there.
There's just a little hint of spice, not much, just a little hint. <clears throat> the consistency of the eggs is really nice too. Yeah, what's not to like? I mean, this is like just a really nice scramble. It's a hearty, nice hearty scramble. Um, damn, kills it. Let's add a little bit of hot sauce to it. Um, I'm just going to use Frank's today. I like to put Frank's on my eggs. Of course, I have a couple of hot sauces I like as egg, egg hot sauces. That'd be a weird video. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. Packet Gourmet. Packet Gourmet has been so impressive with their meals. Now, the real question is, does it dethrone, like, you know, your Mountain House breakfast skillets? I'm going to say no. Firstly, because I'm, I'm a backpacker. And although I do know backpackers that take, <clears throat> you know, pans and all this stuff in there. And I mean, granted, I do have a cooking pot. I don't really want to mess with this on trail. I don't really like messing with instant eggs on trail. It's not, it's not like I can't or I wouldn't, but I would prefer not to. And uh, while I'm really enjoying this, and the flavor is very good. I think the breakfast skillet or the, uh, mm, I don't remember if that one's been renamed to breakfast hash, but it's got the beef and the green chilies in it or like biscuits and gravy. That's kind of apples and oranges though, but it's still breakfast. I would much rather just have that just like ready to rock and roll, just add my boiling water and away I go. Because all those have been very, very good. And the eggs, in those mountain house rations do keep some form. They're not just mush. Um, while, whereas this is more reminiscent of like something you would make at home. I think that that's really cool. I don't know. I could be persuaded to do it. I just don't like the, cl the cleanup. <laughs> but it's very nice. Tastes good. The consistency is right on. The sausage is good. Um, I know that there's some people that complain about instant eggs and so it's not the same. And in some cases, you're right. These, they cook up awesome. I would say definitely don't overwater them. I don't, you know, I eyeballed a third, uh, three quarters of a cup. But, um, you know, if you're concerned about consistency, probably stick to the directions. But as long as it's, it's soupy but not like, it's runny excuse me, strike that, reverse. As long as it is a bit runny without being soupy, then you're, then you're gonna be fine. So just add in water slow if you're just gonna eyeball it. But this is nice. Not a huge portion, but this is nice. Mm. Packet Gourmet kills it, man. Check out their website. <clears throat> they constantly have new stuff up there. They have snacks, they have drink mixes, they've got desserts, they've got mains, they've got, they've got so much. And some really good bundles too, which is how I bought a lot of my stuff was through like different bundles and you save a buck or two here and there. But anyway folks, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, please make sure to like and comment and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider that as well. And we will catch you on the next one. See ya.